Hi English show I know. I'm just going to do a quick clip kind of reviewing how to do MOA formatting. Some of you are doing great and you turn it in every time. Um, some of you kind of forget a few things here and there. And then there's a, like one or two of you that just have not gotten the hang of MOA formatting at all. And I'm really going to push you guys towards MLA formatting because of the fact that this is basic um, academic protocol. Meaning that the higher up in education you go, um, the more professors, teachers, instructors, whomever, expect that you know how to do a basic thing like format a paper so it's not confusing for that instructor um, when they receive it. So you want to always start by double spacing um, because in MLA formatting it always needs to be double spaced. And so you just go up here and you go down to two. Um, you can also right click and go to paragraph and you can go to line spacing if you don't see the icon that I showed you above. Um, but either way just make sure that it's double. You start with that and then you start with your name. So I'm just going to put Jane Doe um, because if I put my own name that will be confusing. So you start with your name, and then you put the instructor or professor's name, in which case it's me, Kate Mulcahy. And then you put the class's title, so this is English 090. And then you put the due date. So don't put the date that you're writing it, put down the due date. So um, we're going to pretend that it is um, the 29th of October oops um, 2013 okay I really don't care if it's in, in this exact format but do have the due date there in some sort of logical format um, and then you hit enter again and then you want to go up and you want to center your title a lot of you guys are forgetting titles now um, if it's for a basic assignment such as a journal entry, the best title would be journal entry, um, you know, number five. However, if it's for your blog, um, then you want to do something like I know some of you. There were quite a few of you that had um, football as your topic, so have some sort of creative title like football. America's oops, struggling hmm, pass. I don't know. I just I just made that up. It's not necessarily a great title, but you want to think about good titles, um, and you want to have one. But again, if you don't need a crazy title, then at least put down what the assignment is, so that your professor instructor knows what um, what assignment they are grading. Some of you are turning in papers with no label on it whatsoever and I have to email you back saying you know I don't know what this is for and that just um, you know slows everything down it keeps your grade lower for a longer period of time because I can't grade uh, missing work things like that and so once you're done with the title then you go ahead and put it back so that it is aligned on the left side and you indent and then you can go ahead and start typing your paper um, but there's one more thing and many of you are forgetting this you need to always put the page number in your last name so you would go up here go to insert and then you want to go to page number top of page and wait for your computer however long that takes and make sure it's on the right hand side so the number will automatically show up and then you just all you have to do is type your last name and then double click down below and then you should see that once you start um, going on to another page it'll automatically put down your last name and the page number. So these are kind of the basics. 
Um, if your professor is very picky, you would want to highlight everything, and you could even do this at the beginning, and put it in Times New Roman, because that tends to be um, the most basic font that everybody wants. But if, as long as it's something fairly standard, then you're okay. The main thing is what you don't want is something crazy like this because then it becomes very difficult for the um, professor to read. So you always want to keep it in something pretty basic like Times New, oops, like Times New Roman. Um, so it should look something like this so that you know your paper has the full header, has a title, has the page number and last name, and then is double spaced throughout. Um, I will be being more strict about this just because it is something that's fairly simple and it's something that um, you want to be able to do for this class and any future college level, graduate level, doctorate level class from now on. So if you guys have questions about it, please email me, um, text me, call me, whatever you want to do, but I want to really want to make sure that you get this kind of basic stuff. Have a great day.